Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Celeste. Oh my goodness. We made it to the summit in the B-side. And it was a long time. A very, very long time. But we've made it. And now... It's time to go to the core of the mountain. The heart of the mountain. About a year later. After the original climb. Hey there, kiddo. Nice to see you again. Here's the cave I told you about on the phone. Follow me. Still have our double jump. But also... And it's gone. And now we don't have a regular jump. It's not giving us back our dashes from touching the ground. What is this place? This passage leads to the center of the mountain. You said you wanted to come back and explore deeper. Doesn't get any deeper than this. Be careful though. When you get this close to the heart of the mountain, its power will start affecting you diff differently. Yeah, I already noticed some of that. Good luck in there. To progress, we need at least four blue crystal hearts, I'm pretty sure. So here we go. The heart of the mountain. We have these walls, conveyor belt things that we can grab onto the wall and it will push us up. We can also use this as a way of using getting momentum. We get our dash back, luckily, from passing a th through a screen. Oh my goodness, this place is cool. I mean, it's not cool, it's... There's a lot of fire involved right now, but you know what I mean. I'm assuming we get it back, our, our dash is back from springs. But also, while we're here, there are f the last five strawberries in here somewhere. Okay, this block is interesting, it collapses. But it also throws us in the direction that we are on it, clinging to it. So if we are on the right side, it will fling us to the right side. Anyway, I'm going to hopefully try and find the strawberries in here. I don't know where they actually are. But what I do remember about this place is that it is very difficult. Probably not as difficult as the B-side that we just went through, but still difficult. Now we have a split path. Let me see which side I should go to. Ah, uh, probably this one. I can see a strawberry right there. Also, this is not a bumper. It is death, apparently. So, maybe... No, it's just death. Also, I feel like... Yeah, I feel like I have to come back to that in a second. So, I'll do that. Have to do something else first. Okay. This is good. Probably. This is so easy compared to what I just went through. But this is also going to get a lot harder very quickly. Okay, this is interesting. Oh, that's lava. <laughs> that just kills me. Oh my goodness. It's been a long time since I was last here. But anyway, we can actually flip the switch to actually change the temperature and the way that this whole place works. Which will be interesting for us. Because obviously it's going to change how everything works. Like these platforms, instead of sending us flying, they actually just collapse. And this means that once we get to the other side, we can actually get that strawberry because of everything being different. These lava ball things are now 
able to be bounced on by us, which is useful. I really don't want to miss any of the secret strawberries. Because that would involve coming back. Unfortunately though, whenever we have um, it, it in ice mode, the conveyor belts are just ice slopes, so if you try and cling onto it, it will just slide. You just slide. That's it. Anyway. Now we can go back this way. And try to make our way back to the other side. I feel like there's a secret here. But also, I'm going to die, sir. Just because I want my dashes back, basically. But I'm pretty sure... No, I might be wrong. That's okay. Once I get to the other side, I'll try... ...going up that way. But I need to get to the other... ...door, probably, first. Oh dear. That's not good. That's not good at all. This is a, this room is a lot harder when it's in ice mode, because there's a lot less... ...things to recover on. Okay. Let's just go back in here quickly. Although I feel like I might be wrong, but it might be possible that trying to go up through that hole is actually going to skip something. I really hope not. No, that's not even somewhere I can go. Cool. That works actually really well for me then, if it's not actually anything. Okay, well anyway. Let's get that strawberry then. Since this thing is now back to what it's supposed to be normally, I guess, we can actually dash over here, except I need to keep my dash so I can get back, I think. Why did I dash twice? Oh my goodness. I was not trying to do that. The game thought I was. Also, I might actually need both of my dashes to get back. So... If I can manage... Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> I think if I also hold down the jump button when I bounce off of those things, I might have a better chance of survival. I need to reload the room. Okay, yeah, I had the right idea, just badly executed. Very badly executed that time as well. Excuse you, I'm trying to bounce with the boys. Okay, that is very, very... I don't know. I don't know. I'm... It's so weird being here after the B-sides, but also... Yeah. Hang on. Reload the room. That's not going to end well. Yeah, I think I do need both my dashes for that. But then, how... Like that, I guess. Wow. Cool. Well, that's the first strawberry down. I just need to get the rest, though, because... Obviously, if I miss any, I have to go back through this whole place. Which would not be fun, I imagine. Okay, this is, this is where things get difficult. Because I'm pretty sure that... Hang on. Am I wrong? Am I wrong about this? Well, I can't switch it back now, so... Also, no, this is not the bit that I thought it was. There's a bit later on, which I'm not gonna... I'm gonna try not to spoil because it's it's gonna be difficult. I remember it being the difficult, most difficult part of this area, so... Hopefully I didn't actually mess anything up by switching the switch, because I feel like it might be possible to do this in ice mode. If you don't hit the switch, maybe. I don't know. I can't hit the switch anymore, which is weird. Oh, I can hit that switch, though. Cool. Then let's go up there if I can, please. 
I didn't mean to press that, come on. I was very far away from that. But I can see why you thought I was going to try and press it. Nope. The timing is difficult. Please get up there, thank you. That works well. Okay. Another checkpoint. I think they're going to be a very kind with the checkpoints this level. Compared to the B-sides, probably. Oh, that was close. Also, that's going to be difficult to get around that. Okay. Okay. And there's also that up there. I think we went through the other one that we saw last time, so... Not missing anything, I don't think. Man. Trying to stay up in the air as well as timing is not really my thing. Okay. Is this the way to progress or is this optional? There's a switch there, so I don't know how to feel. I actually think this is the way to go. Let me go back. That's really perfect timing. That's incredible. Cool. Um, what's this? Basically. Is this a way back? Or is this very precise wall jumping? Nope, it's a strawberry, so I'm glad I came back for this. I mean, I still probably... There's a checkpoint right before this that I could have taken if I needed to, but still. Getting it first try is what's very important to me right now, so... Because I don't want to have to do this again. Come on. We've already done the summit on B-side, so... This should be nothing. There we go. It's another one. Cool. Oh my goodness, it's just so perfect with the timing there. That you can just bounce across like that. Oh my god. Okay, let's actually try not to die. That seems like a good plan. Oh, please, no. I need to hit the switches to, swi to, 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 to switch everything. And also, getting those blocks to move you the way that you want directly is a little bit difficult because you have to be right in the middle. I also think I might have to jump to get the full momentum. To get the full momentum. That's not good. Ah! Okay, this is starting to get a little bit more difficult. Oh my gosh. I need the crystal and the switch. I need the crystal switch. Not the crystal heart, though. Well, actually, there might actually be a crystal heart in this level. Because I'm still missing... I think if there's an even number of everything, probably, I'm still probably missing one. But I'm not entirely sure because I've never 100 percent of this game to the extent that I'm trying to now. Okay. That's weird, that's weird, that's very weird. I don't like that. Just want to go through the way the game intended you. Without problems. Preferably. Man, I'm doing really bad. Oh, there's also a strawberry up there. That I can probably only get on one attempt, possibly.
Okay. I think diagonal jumps is where it's really at. Nope, that's not good. I have to restart this room if I want to get that strawberry. But then I also have to get the right... <sighs> I also need to make sure that I... Use my dashes perfectly to get up there. And I definitely want to get this one on the first try because the checkpoint was a little bit further back. So... Not entirely sure how this is supposed to work for that strawberry. But I will figure it out as best I can. Nope, not like that. Maybe if I can reach this platform here without using my dash and then I dash, dash up. Maybe. Maybe. Just maybe. I don't think this is going to work. This is confusing me. Just like last time. I really want... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. The thing that turns into a good thing. Maybe I can use that after I hit the switch with a dash, and then I can bounce over to the strawberry. That makes sense. I don't know how my brain was, like, not even noticing it, really. But anyway... I wasn't on the right angle, that's okay. This is significantly easier than the B-side so far. It's still very precise, but it's less... less so. Also, I forgot I need to do the thing. But it's okay, because there's still infinitely, infinite tries. Yeah, I have infinite tries. There we go. Let's grab that. That's three. There's just two more to go. That's a good sign. Now, let me see if... This is where I thought... Nope. I don't know if... Yeah. I remember there being something... Possibly? Or maybe that was just me checking the ceiling last time I came through here. No, there is a hole in the ceiling over there. That's probably what I'd, I'm looking for. That's just rude. This room is very rude, actually. Just in its total design. Yeah. Hang on. I'm gonna... Try and... Bounce in the middle, maybe? I might check up here. That was probably a bad choice. That was probably a bad choice. I don't think I can go... No, I can. But also, I can't go through there. And that's a strawberry in there. Interesting. Also, I might need... This is... this. I can already tell what it wants me to do, kind of. Maybe? I'm not entirely sure. But also, I think it wants me to keep my dashes, because there's nothing in there to restore my dash. And I, but I think it also wants... ...the fire version of the level, which means I have to hit that switch up there and then go up. Hopefully there's... I'm gonna just quickly check what's on the far right of this, this, of this screen. Wow, that worked surprisingly well. Oh, I can only do that once. Ah, uh, do I risk going back? I think I will. I want to check what's in the ceiling first, I think. That's a better choice.
Where am I? I don't know how I got there. And honestly, I don't know how I'm still alive. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm trying to let them go up first. Game. I'm going to take my time here. And then I need to go up into that hole. How am I still alive? Okay. So then why is this block here if it's... If I can just walk over to the strawberry. And it's gonna loop down, but also... Hang on. I don't know what that's there for. Hopefully no secret secret that I should be concerned about. Hopefully. Okay, hang on. I want to double check this since I can restore my... my thing. By going through this ground and back up again. I feel like there might be something hidden here. But also not, because I don't see anything breakable, as far as I can tell. Yeah, I don't know. Just gonna do one more quick thing. Because there could be, like, walls that just fade away, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna just move on then. Hopefully I didn't miss anything, because there's one strawberry left. I feel like I... Probably haven't missed it. Probably. Probably is a good word. Oh boy, here we go. The lava is rising. This is what I was worried about earlier. Because it is fast and I need my... I shouldn't waste my dashes. Now, I don't know if this is like other lava is rising rooms where if it follows kind of your speed as you go through, but... So it might. So I don't know. All I know is I need to go and go fast. Because I don't like Lava's Rising. It's scary. Very scary. Oh, this is not safe. This is not safe. Oh, that's not safe. Oh, the lava becomes icicles. Sharp icicles. I mean, that's cool, but also, wow. I don't want to get icicled. How does this even work? Like, I know I'm asking scientifically how this works, and it's a video game, but still. Oh, please. I hopefully haven't missed the strawberry though as well. Since I am at a checkpoint where I really can't go back at this point. Okay. Oh, it's still going. Please, no. I didn't- I somehow missed the switch several times. I needed that, that's okay. I have as many tries as I want. I have as many tries as I want. This is a very strange room. Hopefully, no secret secrets in here. Please. Oh my goodness. Heart of the mountain is crazy cool and hot. Oh my goodness. <sighs> go. Go. I think I want to go up that way, but also I want the crystal probably so I get my 
dash back. I'm having a dash back. Oh my goodness. How are you supposed to get past it when it's going quickly like that? I don't know. Jump! Nope. I don't think there's enough time there to get past. I probably have to go over to the left side and then go to the right. Go, go, go. Or just up, because that seems like where it wants me to go. I wish I could just keep going straight up and not have to worry about the fire. Oh, go, 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 go. This reminds me a lot of Mario Bros. Ice. Oh, right, I have to bounce off of these things. Please, no. Oh my gosh. Nope. Go. Oh my goodness. Lava is rising. I do not like lava is rising. Nope. And it's so fast. I don't... I feel like I'm out of sync with where I need to be. Go, 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 go. Okay. No, I can't even grab onto the platform that I need to. Oh, there's the last strawberry. What? Why is it there, of all places? On the lava? I mean, this is probably an alright time to get it, because if, even if I... Even if I... Because if I... Every time I fail it, I have to restart anyway, so... But I have to restart anyway, so... Please get up there. Oh please, oh please, oh please, oh please, oh please, oh please, 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 why won't you pull me up? Ah, grip. Okay. I need to not miss. I need to get on that back wall with the strawberry without breaking the platform so I can go a lot faster. But I also need my dash, I think, so I'm in a little bit of trouble. Getting the angles on these platforms is so difficult. Hang on, maybe I should just go slowly. Maybe. Maybe not. I mean, I still have... My... Oh, that's not gonna work. Hang on. Go. Thank you. We got the strawberry. Nope. How am I still alive? I don't even know. <laughs> that was incredible. Anyway, we have all the strawberries now. Come on. Is that really not high enough? Okay then. Why would you do it like that? I don't like the bouncings. I don't like the bouncing things. really precise on those bouncing things. The bouncing ice is so precise. That's not gonna work. I need to keep going up. I went the wrong way. Hang on, I need to retry. 
not return to map because I'll be really bad at this point in time. Because I'd have to go through this whole lava section again. No way! I was at the end of that, and that might even be the end of the level, possibly. Come on. Get up there, get up there, get up there, get up there. Okay. That was close. Again. I don't even need that, that crystal there that they put earlier in the climb. That one right there, I don't need that crystal. Nope. I should have just gone over to the right. It's cool that they have lavas rising with a an ice form as well. I'm upset that I missed the crystal. Don't think there's any better way to get it at that point in time either. Please up. And out we go. Oh, hello, lava. Good to see you. Is that way there? I don't think there's any secrets I need to worry about, so. Um. Oh, what? What? Oh, it goes up when it's fire and down when it's ice. Oh. This is a cool concept, but also, no. Don't make me. <laughs> Please. I mean, so far so good, sir. That was very close, okay. How is that lava on the ceiling? There's a spike there! <laughs> Why? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, ice on that platform as well. Oh. This isn't hard, this is just frustrating at this point. I think I need my dash there to be able to get past that spike, which is annoying. Oh, that's cool, the spike actually changes from red and blue, which is the types of spikes that we've seen throughout the game. Okay, feather time. Feather time, 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 oh my goodness, this is a a room, this is a room, feather time, 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 is not the best time, it's actually kind of terrifying, almost as terrifying as having the lava rising, but not quite. Lava rising is still terrifying, but it's also this possibility of getting crushed or lava or sp spiked is always here now. And I'm bad at controlling feathers when there's projectiles all over the screen. Oh 
and the game knows it. Also, I don't like the way that the feather makes you bounce off of walls when you bump into them. No, please. It should be fairly simple to dodge them, but also, I'm struggling. I need that. That was dangerous and a half, but I somehow somehow made it almost come back, but then I'd probably be a little bit ruined by the timing of everything else later on. It's very specific about what it needs. Okay. We've reached the end because we've got the flip switches, flip blocks. But also timing is so difficult. I should be going slower. I should slow down. I need to slow my roll. Too late now. I need to slow my roll. Also, if there's... Oh, if they're changeable like, interchangeable switches, then I can just keep sitting on top of one and, like, do that kind of thing until it's what I need. Why do the fire, f the fire speeds up whenever you... The fire speeds up when you flip to the fire. Don't bounce, no. Also, we could see the the B-side cassette. And this is concerning. This is cause for alarm. Oh, why do I always hit the switch way too early? Don't bounce into death. Don't touch the fire. Giving myself as much time as possible. Get up there and grab it. B side unlocked for the heart of the mountain. That's gonna be tough. Is this it? This is it? This is what the center of all this... Is what at the center of all this? It's so empty and vast. Yet it feels nostalgic somehow. And peaceful. We get a cassette for the B-side. And we get the heart of the mountain. Very nice. So there we go, and we get the last strawberries in the game. Now I might actually have to go back to the end. Actually, I can do that right now. 160 deaths, that's pretty good. <laughs> but also the B-side's unlocked. So we have that. But let me quickly ignore that at the top of the screen, being the hardest level ever that I didn't even complete my first time getting through, so... Let's go to the epilogue, because I think possibly it'll show something different, maybe? Oh my goodness. 
Well, it's not different, but you know, 175 out of 175 is good. But also 2,413 deaths and 11 hours playtime. But anyway, I guess now that that's done, we're probably going to look at the B-side for the core. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.